Okay, so this is my first time using every plate, and this is the box that is definitely has the best value as far as price. So I'm interested to see how everything looks and how it turns out. Um, these are the recipe cards. They're smaller in size, um, but they're perfect. They give everything you need. The list of how to cook everything. And then inside, the difference here I'm noticing is that everything is individually packed. Um, like I said, it's my first time opening this, so I'll see in a minute. It's like nothing is labeled, I don't think. Okay, so I'm not a fan of this right now. Um, but for the price, we're going to see if the recipes are going to be really good and then if it's going to be worth it. Obviously, they have to cut um, somewhere to reduce the price, right? So it doesn't mean it has to be in their food. It could just be in packaging and other ways. So if it means that I could get over the fact that it's not organized, um, but I could save money, you know, everybody has a different preference. So with, think about it though, I have three, I have three different cards here, three different recipes. So now what I'm gonna have to do to figure this out is I'm gonna have to look on each recipe and I'm gonna to have to pick out what I'm gonna need versus everything being packed um, into one bag for each recipe. So it'll take a little time, not a lot, but to get things um, together. And, but I'm hoping the food's gonna come out really good because then we could base it, um, if it's worth the value, even though it's um, a less price and the packaging may not be so fancy and organized, maybe the food is still gonna be delicious. So we're gonna find out and we'll get cooking in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start cooking now. But before I do, I just wanted to share that this is again from Every Plate, and we're gonna be making gooey stuffed pork burgers with barbecue onion and crispy potato wedges. Uh, like I said earlier, I did have to go ahead and pick out all the ingredients um, that are needed for the recipe. And then I did find, these are the five potatoes that I'm gonna be using. And um, one of them is all cut and damaged, but I'm just gonna have to cut it off to utilize it because there's really not that many potatoes here. So I'm gonna start cooking now and we'll see how this turns out.
is done. We're going to see how our gooey burger is that was stuffed with pepper jack cheese. I'm going to cut it so I can see what it looks like in the middle. This is good. And it's pepper jack with like um barbecue sauce and the onion. It gives it flavor. My first bite there wasn't as much flavor until I got more into the middle, but it's definitely really good. All right, I'm gonna try the fries now, potato wedges. I'm gonna have it without my ketchup first, so. They're good. They, um, they just taste like roasted potatoes with salt and pepper. So it's not really flavorable. There's not really much to it. The ketchup helps. Okay, so right now my review on this um, is that it is good. It, it's it's a, for the price, it's a meal that you would just cook at home. Um, there's nothing special about it. It's not bad though. It's, um, you know, it's a decent size amount of food. It's not a lot, which is fine. It's a serving size. Um, but it's just something that, you know, is pretty simple. Whereas like uh, the other boxes so far are more like, to me, felt like high-end food, right? So like when you go to a nicer place out to eat and you just like, wow, this tastes really good, has so much flavor and you can tell there's just more to the dish. Um, but you get what you pay for in life, right? So like on, day, on weeks where you're like, maybe you don't have a lot of money coming in for that week, I'd say this is the way to go. If you have more money, I think then you go and choose the better thing, just like when you go out to eat, right? You're gonna go where you can, your pocket can afford you to go at the time. So overall for the price, I would say this is a decent, good meal. Um, is it my favorite? No, it's not my favorite, but I still would give it a thumbs up for, um, as far as the price is concerned, and that the food still tastes okay. And the quality was, it was, um, it was decent. So we have one more coming up, Hello Fresh, and then after that is gonna be my review on all the meal kits, and I enjoyed doing this, and I hope you liked it. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.